Hi ladies, it's Penny here. <laughs> I'm trying not to speak in my usually bad, loud voice because the neighbours will think I'm an old batty woman who talks to myself or the cat. And it's rumoured I don't even own a cat. So I'm outside today. So <laughs> what we're going to do is make some little um, plaques for herbs. I made a few last year, or a couple last year, and um, it faded, so all I've done is paint, you know, to brighten them up. So I'll show you how I've done some. Put that on the right one, no, that's not right. Put it on after. Better to use just scrap for this type of job. You don't need to use your very good Fimo. So I have conditioned it which I do find the hardest and using red and when you're in white trousers is not the best idea but I've managed so far so I've conditioned it and I've put it through the pasta roller Ooh, that in the, the normal edge um, that come out the thickest about number one and then I'm just smoothing it out a little bit lumpy there and then they are it's cracking there they say it's quite old this female but all the rest have come out all right so um, I think this one will I cut out a little template uh, of cardboard last time I did these and that's still the same one so I put that on there and then cut round it with my little sharp knife. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's for the garden, it's, it's just a bit of garden craft, but I think they look nice when they've they're all amongst the herbs or you can put them with the flowers. So something like that. I'll take that away. be able to see better won't you? and then just trim it and just go around a bit with my finger just to straighten up them edges a little bit then I, I did some grey you can you can use the same colour I think majority I have used the same colour but in this instance I'm going to use this bit of grey I've got it's grey with some nice speckles in it so it's, it's, I say it's just a uh, scrap pino oh we should not want that and I'm not going to put this through the pasta machine because the uh, camera will put <laughs> pull on the blur I think so I'm trying to roll this very gently in a ladylike way yeah, I can only do female when I know me uh, hands are strong enough to do it. So I'll do that, and then we'll get the blade and just cut strips. Straighten that off, and all I'm going to do is cut strips off it, like so. As even as you can. Oh, I didn't know I'd collected red. I went upstairs. I've got reactor glasses. Of course, going from outside, I couldn't see anything. <laughs> and I picked up red. Anyway, this is Fimo gel. And it just helps to bomb things. Take the notice of all them bits because. You can paint it after, you can hide it with uh, a little ornament which I'll show you. I've done this actually the wrong way around. I should have done um, the back end first, the back of it, but it doesn't matter. I hope I've got a... Now with the strips, all I did was roll them and 
place them on and then you've got a nice border there we go I found if I had too long they, they just broke so it's better just do it doing them like that do press them down because um, I know on one of mine it kind of pinged up because I hadn't actually touched one femur to the other female piece if you know what I mean so that looks good now for the back which I'm hoping I've remembered to get yes no no yes no no then. not in there hopefully they're in here hopefully it for a minute. Oh, Here I am back again ladies. I've forgotten the um, lollipop stick Santa. That should have gone on the back first. So to attach the the lollipop stick we'll just use the same bit of um, Vimo that I had at the front this grey one and this is very rough you don't need this uh, looking brilliant at all hope it's not shaking you too much I'm just going to pull that little tiny it's only a little table this right that should do it lovely. And then get a lollipop stick, any whip, any size, put it about in the middle and then with a knife again just cut, square it up a little bit, a little bit and I will put some uh, the gel just to give it a bit more gluing stuff on it but I've had no trouble anyway of them the only trouble I had is if they over time they rot away naturally then put your piece over and with a little presser Try to move everything out your way. There you go. With a little presser, you can just press around the edges. Press around the edges to get them going. Uh, if you can trust your fingers in that, you can use them. So as long as some of that female is touching the other female, we're going to be fine. So then I turn it that way, check everything's still all right. And then to do the word on it, I've broken my little piece in the heart. But we can remedy that as well. All I did was roll your female out again. Clay. Naturally it's going to be bigger than that. I'm running out of clay here. Here's one, here's a piece. Right, so you draw your clay out and then I'll just show you one or two letters. I keep moving things. Um, I say it with chives, you'd need the C. So all of them are, are uh, stamps, letter stamps. And then all I did was Press it firmly in, right, so, so you can do one long word if that's what you like or you could do lots of squares and then split them up on the plaque as you want them and even that doesn't matter the colours because you can paint after which I'll show you. So I'm doing a time one but I did want to do a fancy edge 
Only because half I did one I need. <laughs> I want one. Right, Ooh. there. And that, that's the zigzag, zigzaggy one. And I say I've lost this little bit and tried to find it again. Is that it? I think end's going to have to be done again. I've lost my bit of end. Let's see. But it doesn't matter. I'll cut that off with a normal one. Okay. We'll get the end out. End. Stick it down. That's better. Cut it out. That doesn't matter if it's it's a bit sticky now this because it's warm out here. That's my excuse. Okay, a little bit more pen. That's it. So there's our pack. And it's not all going to fit in, but I don't care. And I'm going to put the end underneath. Okay? Like that. But it doesn't matter. It's mine. <laughs> so again, I'm going to put a bit of... Um, just a little bit of glue help it along. That hardens, you see, as soon as it goes in the oven. The oven is going to be 130. And I usually leave something like this in about 25 minutes. Okay, now you can add things. This is a box of a few little bits I made some time ago. And there's still a few little like, flowers and leaves in here. So I thought we might as well use them all, you know. They're just little leaves. They've already baked. So you can still put them on. And I'm going to put a little leaf there. And I put on. I did have a little ladybird. I think it's going to be a bit too big, that ladybird. Um, I've got a plastic rabbit in here, but we can't put that down, can we? So, um, got another little leaf somewhere. Yeah. So we'll put another little leaf just up there. I hope you can see this. And all I'm doing is going to put that there. And that's going in the oven. I've got a tile, a white tile that I use to go in the oven. I just say that they won't go in on this. <laughs> a white tile, um, 130 for about 20 25 minutes. I like, yeah, about 25 minutes in a warm oven, naturally. I'll show you now a couple that oh, we did yesterday. Hey man, there's one. See, I use the smaller letters. I should have done that, shouldn't I? There's parsley. This is Arthur's curry plant. He doesn't want to paint it, he likes it like it is. And this is thyme. Another thyme, I've got two pots of thyme. To paint them, I've been using these oil based they are so we've got a lot of and that's one of them like a covered and they cover very well so um very pleased with these and i'll be able to do my pots and the fairy house etc with these on another day so that's how that's how i do my little um herb plaques and uh, i hope you enjoyed that and uh, I hope it inspires you to do some for, for your garden. Thank you for watching ladies. I'll speak to you soon. <laughs>